All right, hello, this is Bernadette, and I have been trying to make this video for a couple of years now, and I was afraid to make this video because I wasn't sure who I am yet, but I know who I am now. I'm a skeptic turned mystic, and I hear dead people. Now, this started happening to me when I was 35 years old, and I'm 38 now, and I feel more, I, I, I understand about this ability now, and I understand more why people are so skeptical about, um, about all, all this afterlife. But if you know me, I used to work in Silicon Valley, I used to work at Amazon, so I'm pretty left brain person when I was working in Silicon Valley. And after I left, I feel like I'm able to, I'm more balanced out after, um, after, after I left my Silicon Valley job. So when I started ha having this um, Claire Audian, I'm a Claire Audian. When I first started having this gift, I went to my therapist. And this therapist that I, that I went to, I've been going to her for um, a long time, for like a, eight years or so. So I have a very good rapport with her. Unfortunately, when I started sharing my experiences with her, she was very dismissive. Now, she was not like this before. Usually when I say something, she will she will ask follow-up questions and she will come from a very curious perspective. But with this, with, with this particular gift, and, I, and I, I, I'm trying to make sense um, with it at that time. And it was obvious that my therapist um, was not able to give me the kind of help, the kind of security and understanding that I needed. So I was really disappointed with her because like, don't you want to know if it's a guy's voice or if it's a woman voice or if it's a scary voice? Like what she, she should be asking me all these questions, you know, uh, but she didn't. And how do I know I'm not having some mental illness? Well, you know, by the time you turn 35 years old and now I'm 38, you pretty much know yourself a lot more better than you do when you are younger. If I have mental illness, I would not be able to control the voices in my head. It will overtake my life. But this is not overtaking my life. I have learned how to, um, uh, uh, I, I, I wouldn't say you live with it. Uh, I have learned how to accept it and use it for uh, the higher good instead of using it for black magic. And black magic is real. And the reason why it is so easy for you to conjure up black magic is because uh, hell or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's just right below earth. So earth is totally not a good place to be uh, in terms in, in terms of like um, dimension or like a astral astral world. Earth is one of the uh, uh, the most challenging one. Now I have begin to not, I do not want to mess around with dark energy because I don't know who I'm speaking to on the other end and I do not want to engage. I don't do any mediumship. This is all very new to me. I just want to speak to higher power. And when I say higher power, it means angels. It means spirit guides. It means anyone that have a higher vibra vibration. Anyone that have a good heart. I don't want to talk to any dark entity. Uh, uh, I don't think I ever want to talk to any dark entity because it's scary. I know you don't know if you're a medium or you have any experiences with this. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I will not touch. I will not touch anything uh, so dark like that again. All right. That's just what I want to say is that. You know, I used to work in Silicon Valley. I used to work in Amazon and I worked with a lot of engineers. And at, at, by that time, you know, even when I was uh, using my right brain, when, when I'm intuitive, they will always like, well, you know, um, 
you don't you don't you don't have a, a good explanation for it so we cannot take your suggestion uh, at the time and I wish I knew that I had Claire cognizant as well I do have Claire cognizant but my Claire audience abilities is way 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 higher so uh, yes can you imagine if I'm still working at Silicon Valley right now and like I have uh, like a part-time YouTube channel and I start talking about this I think I will have a terrible time. I think people will make fun of me still in 2020. Uh, people, people are going to say, no, I won't, but I know you will. Okay. I know you will. So I left and I started working more on my abilities. And now I want to come out and say, Hey, I'm giving you angel numbers now. If you have been seeing a lot of angel numbers, like one, 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 five, 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 nine, nine, nine. It is real. Yes, you do have somebody on the other side talking to you. And the messages that you get, you know, there's so many, um, how do I say this? A uh, combination of numbers, right? It's like password. There's like 1051, 1642. Like, how do I know what those numbers that I have been seeing and you have been seeing means? I channel the higher power. I started doing this and I want to start doing this for all the numbers. That is my goal that I want to share with you. And I also want to talk a lot more about uh, psychic and the afterlife and what it's, what, what it looks like and all that good stuff. I'm excited, but, oh, but I'm also very scared because this is, you know, me coming out and actually saying, yo, I hear people. I hear dead people. I hear dead people. Bye.